Now, as you may have noticed, when I walked in this evening, I walked in on my own. Yeah. That's because I don't have a wife. Or a partner. Or anybody to come in with this evening to honor. I am bereft of female company, romantically challenged, if you will, alone. <laughs> no, please, no sympathy required. Although I have to say, I have had just the absolute worst luck when it comes to meeting the right person. I, uh, I dated a schizophrenic woman once but I had to break up with her because well, she was seeing other people. <laughs> and uh, there was another potential love interest who, as it turns out, was a communist. Yeah, I should have seen the red flags, really. <laughs> so I tried dating a much younger woman. That was fantastic, I can tell you. Uh, except she constantly insisted that we always go to the gym together. So, you know, obviously, we didn't work out. <laughs> so then I went the other way, and I thought, right, I'll date a much older woman. Oh my God, what an absolute nightmare that was. I had to tell her once to act her age. So she died. <laughs> no, no, seriously though, losing a significant other can be very hard. In some cases, impossible. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so then, I, I mean, I got desperate. So I, I actually, I went out with a homeless woman. And uh, that wasn't great, I'll be honest with you. She always wanted to dine outside the restaurant. Uh, but on the plus side, it didn't matter where I dropped her off in the morning. <laughs> and let me see. Uh, oh, I, ah, I had a one-night stand once. That went horribly wrong. We got married, <laughs> briefly, <laughs> and you know, it's, these days, everybody's using these, what, these dating apps, and these, what do you call it, the, you know, the singles websites and all that kind of thing. I haven't had a lot of luck with them, I'll be completely honest with you. I did try a few of them last Halloween, but I kept getting ghosted. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But you know what? That was the past. Because up until now, I'd have to say that my life, my love life particularly, is a bit like a Ferrari. I don't have a Ferrari. <laughs> but I could meet someone very special here this evening. Now, of course, they will have to accept that I am a larger man. And, and I, I honestly, I swear to God, this is not an excuse. Um, I have a legitimate reason for that. I have a physical condition which makes me gain weight very, very easily. Um, my mouth is bigger than my bum hole. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, my whole life, it's just one diet to, to the next. Some of you may, may identify with that. Of course, I had to step it up a little bit this evening to get into the, the suit. So I actually went on two diets. Because well, you don't get enough food on one, do you? No. <laughs> so, if there are any uh, single, attractive young ladies here tonight, preferably with daddy issues, very low standards and poor eyesight, <laughs> then do come and say hello.